giving this team a week later. It's such a young team. It's going to be one thing we're going to watch early on. And they start with a run. Two against a team like that. Right through they shift out of that initial set. It is Rivers alongside Virgil. Fake the fly sweep action. Hand to Rivers, and he broke off his left side. Now they come back, and that quick snap run play on first down. Of the defensive responsibilities for UW. Second and 11. Virgil has three wide. Sends everybody out on his pattern and delivers a low ball that is good. He struggled the last two weeks with the drop. Something to pay attention to. Now it would have been a first down. Now it's third for Fresno State. Bartlett's pressure. Short throw there. Won't get the first down. Washington flying to the ball and doing a good job at Fresno State series. Now that's broken up. So Miles Bryant's already made his presence felt twice in about five plays. You talk to Jimmy like the DB coach. He talks about the chip on the shoulder, the hustle of this young man. And he's so instinctive as a player. He showed up when we were here in training camp. It was obvious. And of course, having to replace all those DBs, they want to prove that they've got a skill set worthy of being compared. And Washington doesn't bite on that motion play again by Fresno State. Bobbles up the run. For 99 in the middle of your screen right there. Greg Gaines, they make it happen. So on third, Virgil has enough time, but overthrows by a decent margin. Keyshawn Johnson, 05 for Fresno State. Ronnie Rivers flares to the right. Virgil's oh, pass oh, is picked. Tavis oh, oh. Bartlett's heading home. Look at that open field cutback. Well, Tavis oh, Bartlett oh, oh, saw the end zone. Just didn't get there. Okay, here, this is great. You see the motion. Tavis Bartlett understands what might happen. The former quarterback in high school at Cheyenne, Wyoming, showcasing the hands, Ted. I'll tell you what, put a hashtag in front of it. 12 best all night long with that play right yeah. there. And look at that, the right tackle for Fresno. Patterson tried to cut him, and Bartlett got right back up so quickly. So much as Washington wants. For Fresno coming off a grueling game at Alabama, finds himself in this deep defense like this. Jason Virgil. Flag down. Not a good one for Fresno State. The throw Secondary to the defensive lineman. So Fresno State hardly needed this long second down. Virgil's going to get some of it back with a throw to O'Neal. Good cutback. And O'Neal is going to get Fresno State. This team right there. Virgil looking for the quick hit in the middle. Not held. Would have been a first down, Jared Rice. Yeah, yeah, come on, that's it, receiver. Thank you. <laughs> All day long. Thank you. And there's a completed pass. Specifically last week and this weekend. And now, ooh, wow, tough there for Virgil. He had a man step that way in the NFL. Dante, you got a future there as well. And Ronnie Rivers on the carry for Fresno. So you get a master's degree in art then, what you're telling me. Mm. I, oh, I thought that was going to be a pick. We get a flag down. Jordan Miller looks to be in intercepting position there. Defense here, you could add Miles Bryant to that mix. Mm -hmm. They fly to the football and don't waste any movement with their feet. Well, can Fresno State take advantage? First time they've been on the other side of the 50. Underneath throw by Virgil is complete. PAT on the third one. Hokit gets the carry. Good strong run there. Hokit another. Tight end Rittering is to the left of Virgil. He gets flushed out. Looking down near the end zone, he might have had a shot at area that is clear cut for the quarterback. A free play here. As Washington jumped. 
And Burge is going to run out of bounds. Benning Potai. One spot on this defense. They don't necessarily scare you from the edge. Well, he tried to have Hokett, the running back, lead the way as a blocker, but Washington blows that play up. Bartlett's in. And from second and one, you end up losing four to five here. What a nice job by Kevin Bartlett. He takes that on with his front shoulder, right? Stays fast. And what most USC folks expect to be the season of Sam. That's right. All right, off the timeout. Good stick there by Azeem Victor. All over tight end Kyle Rittering. You know, Sam, when you turn the film on, every Sunday we go back and watch games and Monday and throughout the week. There's certain players you just love to watch. Azeem Victor, since he's gotten on campus, probably my favorite guy to watch. With. So Fresno State, you see the score. The Rivers got four yards on the first down run. For Kervin sneaking up in the middle, he's coming in. Fresno State picks up the blitz, though. Oh, and that still came scary close. Dynamic element of that position you'll see him right at the bottom of your screen. So on third, pressure coming again, and Virgil delivers. This one's held by Jared Rice. And Rice big body, 6'5", out of Modesto. Now Virgil comes underneath. There's the first catch for Darian Grimm. Makes you feel a little old when you're calling your old teammates. <laughs> Second down, and when Washington smothers the run. Third down and seven. And swing one out in the back. Oh, a nice play by Mims in the open field. So Jordan Mims still drops short of the first down. This system, I think, is unique, and clearly you've seen him play the most efficient he's played all season tonight. All right, so here we go. Back to live play, and there's almost a pick. By Bartlett. I mean, that's what you want for an outside edge rusher dropper in a 3 4 defensive scheme. Especially the wrestler part, right? <laughs> Sport that doesn't get participated as much as it once did. There's a good run. So, uh, that, what a strong tackle at the end by freshman Brandon McKinney came up to immediately stop the run of Josh Hogan. I'll, I'll tell you what this team has. You're seeing some freshmen there. McKinney, Elijah Molden, number three, he's on the field right now. Both of those guys in on that stop. They have competitive depth here, Ted. And that can't be overstated about how important that is in terms of how you practice and develop your team and how everybody every day is competing for their spot. So Virgil and Fresno State inside the 40. Mims now brings it inside the 35. Teams coming in this year. That's where you see so many missed tackles around the country. Virgil stepping out and dives head first, so he'll get a better mark. Right here, and that number is impressive of missed tackles. When you look at only a week ago, Ted Stanford, they had 21 missed tackles against SC in one game. They have four and a half missed tackles in the season. So Virgil, it's the uh, underneath cross there to Damari Scott. It's on that because it's influencing the high school game, the Pop Warner game. Mims inside, he's wrapped up at the 20. We're sitting, enough time to uh, call the play they want. Can they keep this drive going? And Virgil's going to get Mims, and Mims gets the first down. To the five goes Jordan Mims. East Palo Alto. So first and goal, first time for Fresno State, and there's the touchdown. Throughout their entire careers together, and, and you don't see it that often. Receiver, quarterback, stay with you know recruiting classes, guys leaving early. These two have developed into I think what we could easily say in the Pac-12 is the most dynamic duo at, at that. Point. As you can see, played a lot at Oregon State. He's played a couple of games. He was in relief last week at Alabama. It was five out of seven passing. I mean, here's got to finish the season last year as the quarterback for Oregon State. Variety did. Daryl Garrison, variety of different guys. You know, I always admired, though, Ted, that he stuck around and, and kept competing, kept competing, and he said, you know what, all right, you, you went with your guy, Jake Luden. I'm going to go somewhere and try to play, and he's back in his hometown. Well, is that picked? Uh, nope, they're saying incomplete. Ball hit the turf. 
before it was an intercepted ball. McMarion was flirting with the line of scrimmage, didn't go past, and it was Elijah Molden that almost had this. So, that's out on the field, get another carry. So McMarion back now, running the offense for Fresno State. And O'Neill runs it down near the 15. I have to say that much. <laughs> Follow up on that after this on first down from the 15. Jordan Mims on the carry. Down to about the 12. We As Jill referenced, how you practice on a Tuesday and a Wednesday and the mental side of a Thursday. McMarion firing it for Johnson. Leaping catch. No, not in bounds. Keyshawn Johnson. Gaines chasing McMarion who whips one and that one not held by Johnson again would have had trouble getting a foot down to the side of his face mask. Not terribly helpful. So McMarion back to work and he got a wide open man. Keyshawn Johnson catches. Did not. A couple guys getting some of the early action in their careers. So first down for Fresno State. And McMarion's handoff short run here. Situated. He had a degree, and he has two years to play. So that's a new, different twist on the graduate trans transfer rule. And there's a keeper, so Jeff Tedford gets him, and he could be in then during his tenure at Cal. Boy, there's a good stop. I don't believe that's a first down gain. Tenacity of this is different. All right, McMarion has Josh Hokett flying out to the right. And that's where he's going with it. And says, so Josh, see if he can do something with it. He barrels into the left guard. The Modi. Marion. Yeah. Good job. He stopped just before the line. Nice throw there and a completion to. And a quick slant off the left, caught by Keyshawn Johnson. To could be a really good player. He's 52 there in white. That's Alabama here. Yeah. The eighth career ties the record, third man to do that. Here we start with third down, and that's going to be a first down game for Jordan Mims. There, Mims off the left side. Nice tackle there as he happened this year. Marion hits Jared Rice. Talked about that earlier, Yogi. That's a good to me. It'll be fun to watch these other teams in the Pac-12. SC, they're down right now late. The Texas, can the teams they play and potentially play, how highly ranked can they be when they play them? McMarion, nope, not going to get there. He's trying to sneak up the middle, and there he Just got that playoff in time. And McMarion fires one out well over the head of Keyshawn Johnson for Fresno State. Trying to put one in the end zone. Four rush, one got through, pass is spun around for a loss. O'Neill with the catch. And Austin Joyner stops him. You think he wants to play some little football? Didn't play the first two games of the season. Settles his legs, settles his feet, tackles at the midpoint, wraps up. That's just the Oh boy. All of a sudden we got ourselves a tied game. Double overtime, guys. With well, thank you, Mike. We come back here. Peterson about him this week. He said he is the backbone of our program. He goes, I know I always say that, but I don't just mean getting faster, stronger, more agile. He said it's the work ethic, the attention to detail. Hey, you know, it's funny, Joel, because we know how vital that position is. Every college coach will tell you that. 
as McMarion's going to run out of bounds, and you were you were part of it. It is hard, and it's not going to be an easy road or as easy as you had in high school. Ooh, good pickup there on a block. And McMarion stands up and delivers the ball. Rices are doing well tonight. Justin just made a whole bunch of good plays on defense. Jared here with a nice catch. McMarion comes out to Jordan Mims. And Mims takes that down to the 25. To learn on film. And guys can either earn the right to play or earn the right to have to keep trying to prove that they can play. It's something that coaches can turn to tomorrow and say, all right, this is what you did right. This is where you can go. Sean Johnson's out of bounds. Credit to Fresno. They didn't hang it up. And this is team back-to-back. -back, played two of the top teams in the country. High throw there by McMarion. Trying to hit a lot of arguments, obviously, when you look at their non-conference schedule and what they've done. It, it isn't ridiculously impressive in terms of competitive games, but it ain't going to be easy. When you're going to go up against Josh Rosen, he'll be, you know, it's his third offensive coordinator in three years. He'll be as efficient as he'll be all season long later in the year. Credibility is going to come. So fourth down for McMarion in Fresno State. A hit from behind. Now, neither way, it is Washington ball. Is that top 10 potential type draft pick from the Pac-12 this year? It's interesting. Chris Peterson, when we asked him about Vita, what was the phrase he used? He described him as? Beast. Gentle giant. Yeah, gentle giant. Yeah. Surprised with how unique he is with his feet. I remember being here in training camp, and they do a tip drill every day of pre-practice. And, you know, DBs do that. Receivers.